All right, what's up guys? So today we're gonna be taking a look at my Genshin account. And just for context, I have been playing ever since version 1.0 and have never spent any money on the game. And so we'll be taking a look at all my characters, their weapons and artifacts, as well as other stuff such as how I clear my abyss or who am I saving for at the moment. And then I'll do like a short Q&A at the end. So let's get started. All right, first up, let's take a look at my characters list. So these are all my characters. And the reason why there's not many 5 stars here is because I genuinely just end up losing almost every 50-50 and my average pity for getting a 5 star is like 70 to 75. And then there's also the fact that I like hyper investing more than I do pulling for many characters. So I would rather have fewer teams that deal a lot of damage compared to like having a lot of teams that don't deal as much damage. That's just kind of how I like to play. Alright so now let's take a look at my character's constellations starting with child. He C0 because I just don't find his constellations worth it for F2P. I'm um, Shengling C6. Bennett also C6 because I play Shengling. <laughs> Kazuo C2 because his C2 is insanely broken for reaction teams. Again, this thing wasn't cheap. It cost me like 370 pulls, but it was definitely worth every single primo. Yenfei C4, but I haven't activated it yet. I think I'll say C0 for now. Alright, Wanderer C2, really, really good. Especially when you're uh, playing him as a hyper carry. When TC0, don't really need constellations for him. Genie C2, I do use her sometimes with Wanderer because of the attack speed. And I hope I get C4 from standard soon. Alright, Yulai C1, again, good constellation. Kaching C0, even though I have two more, I haven't activated them yet. Alright, Mona C0, but I do want C1 for my child. Moving on, Traveler, don't really care about that. D Luke is C2, was actually my first ever main, now he's benched. Yunjin C0, Farazan C6, actually got her C6 on the rerun banner. Hazel C6, got Hazel C6 on Kazuo's first ever banner. Um, Leila C1, Rosaria C6, really good for physical teams. Changyun C6, Sara unfortunately only C1. I, I wish I had C2 so I could use her more. Official C5, I'm hoping to get C6 from the upcoming banner. Beto C3, Kanda C1, Singcho C6. Toma C6, again C6 is good for Wanderer teams. Sukor C2, Diona C2, Shinyan C4, Razor C2, Amkale C1, Lisa C2, Barbara C4, Noel C6. Noel was actually my first ever character that got C6. Kaya is C4, um, Amber C2, Chichi has cursed me two times, C1. Aloy C0, obviously. I mean, Garo is C5, but I don't even plan on building him. Ningguang C6, um, Lynette C0, Sayu is C6, Dory is C3, Kuki is C4, and then, and then Yao Yao is C0. So now let's move on to the weapons, starting with Thundering Pulse. So I actually got Pulse on the first ever Pulse banner, which was all the way back in 2.0. And then I got Homa and Elegy from the Homa rerun banner. Got Scabbard Atlas from Standard Banner. This is actually my first ever 5 star. And then these two Gravestones are from Standard Banner as well. I actually got I actually got Jade Cutter while pulling for Ziphos on his first banner. So let me tell you guys what happened. I did like 60 pulls. I somehow ended up getting R4 even star, which is a pretty good weapon. Just not my priority at the time. So I actually never got Ziphos on the first banner. I got a 5 star and I got R4 even star, but never actually got Ziphos. So I got Ziphos on the second Ziphos banner after like 40 or 50 pulls again. So that should explain just how rigged Gacha exclusive 4 stars are. And then Skyward Blade, I got this from Pulse Banner. I actually ended up losing to Blade before I got Pulse. And then these three are just from Standard. Here's the rest of my weapons. Again, I have like 50 Favonius Bows, 50 Dragon Spains, 20 Rain Slashers, 50 Sacrificial Swords. I don't know, they just keep coming. And then I have, I have like all... Bro, I'm close to maxing out again. I max out on these crystals like every week. So I, I have, what I have done is like started leveling up 3 star weapons. So I can just feed them into whatever weapon I'm going to level up next. Which is most likely going to be the Tome of Eternal Flow. So make sure you guys are subbed because I am going to be pulling for it live on stream. But yeah, that's really it for weapons. Now a quick look at my resources. So these are all my materials. Again, I have pre-farm for Nouvelet Silent Books. 11 crowns, I'll probably end up triple crowning him. And then these are enough for a level 90 signature weapon. Food buffs. Again, I use Adaptus most of the time. Unless I'm doing uh, like an HP character. That's when I use this. Even more resources. Pretty sure these are all the gadgets that have ever been in the game. Including this useless thing. 
all the materials from the quest. Again, I have every single birthday cake. I have these OG shout lanterns. You can only get these if you play the first level lantern, right? So yeah, these are like super OG. 11 fragile, 5, uh, I mean, why am I talking about condense? 11 fragile for when new lets new boss drops. 16 fates, 7 acquaint fates. I don't know what I'm doing with 82 dream solvent, but we're doing something. And then I have no clue what these things are. I just keep collecting them in open world, but I have no clue what they do. I, and then teapot stuff that I don't really care about. As for exploration, I have pretty much everything maxed out except for Chasm, where I can't find a single chest here. And then Lost Nursery. But yeah, every other region, every other uh, underground thing, and Kanomia, underground Chasm, everything else is 100%. I have done every single quest that I could find. I have not done every single hangout. I'll probably get to these. I kind of quit after Hazel came out, but I'll probably start doing them again. Have done every single story quest. All right, now let's take a look at the builds. So I'm probably not going to show every single one since not all of them are built. And even some of the ones who are level 90, I still don't use them anymore. Because like I used to use Sara before Farazan came out to buff Hazel. Only really use Chungun for nuke sometimes. Don't really use Sucrose anymore. So I'm probably only going to show the ones that I actually use. Starting with Child. These are his stats. Again, using Thundering Pulse. Two-piece Nymphs, two-piece Noblesse. Because I'm still in the middle of farming for a four-piece. Again, I've been farming that domain ever since it came out. But I just still haven't gotten a four-piece yet. The bro, RNG is just rigged. I, I can't do anything about it. Triple Crown. These are my Shengling stats. Using Staff of Foma. I do sometimes use the catch if I need more ER, but Homa is usually just good enough. Using 4-piece emblem. Again, these are like some of my best artifacts ever. So yeah, she is pretty cracked. C6 as well as triple crown. And by the way, don't ask me about the normal attack crown. Look, if you guys see any unusually high normal attacks in this video, just know that I do plunge bounties. And for that, you need high normal attacks. That will explain every single normal attack that you're about to see being level 8, 9 or 10. In Bennett, 280 ER, Aquala Favonia, 4 piece Noblesse, C6, and then Crown Burst. Kazua has 1024 EM, almost 190 ER, Zephos Moonlight, 4 piece Verdescent, C2, and Triple Crown. <coughs> Yanfei, she is. I mean, when I do use her, I give her Shangling's Goblet. So this is what her stat. This is what her stats actually look like when I am playing her. Uh, R5 Vitsit. 2-piece Crimson, 2-piece Paradise. Again, I do plan on activating Constellations, just not right now. And then Talents are 9, 8, and 8. I will eventually try to get all of them to 9, 9, 9. Alright, for Wanderer, he has 73 crit rate, 187 crit damage. Using Arwen Skyward Atlas, because I skipped Tula this time since it's rerun with Donut. I didn't want to get Donut. Using 4-piece Desert Pavilion. Again, all these pieces are good except for the sands. I will probably try to get a better sands once I'm done with nymphs. We'll see. C2 and triple crown. Venti, 71, 152, 250 ER. Really good stats. He's using R1 Elegy. I do sometimes use Favonius when I need like insane amounts of ER, but like 250 is usually just enough. Using 4 piece Verdescent. ER Sands, Animal Goblet, and Crit Rate Circlet. He's C0 and uh, Double Crowned. Moving on to Jean. So these are her stats, 218 ER. She's using R5 Favonius. I do sometimes give her like Jade Cutter or uh, Skyward Blade when I need more damage. But generally she's on Favonius. 4-piece Noblesse. Again, if I'm playing her in Reaction Teams, I give her Venti's Artifacts. But this is what I use for now. C2 and Talonstar 999. Alright, moving on to Eula. These are her stats. Again, I got Eula all the way back in 1.5. So I am an OG Eula main. Arvin Gravestone. These are her artifacts. Again, these substats are really good. C1. Got it. Got this on rerun. And then Talents are triple crowned as they should be. Kaching don't really use her anymore. I use Mona as a support. Again, 4-piece Instructors, Thrilling Tales. Crown Burst. All right, moving on to Yunjin. So she she has good stats. It's just that C6 Toma is better than C0 Yunjin for a Wanderer team. So I don't really use her anymore. But I do have her Burst Crown and stuff. Alright, Farazan. My biggest 
probably the most energy hungry character I've ever seen. <laughs> R5 Favonius for a piece tenacity because she's, uh, she's C6. And then double crown for maximum damage. As for Hazel, I only really use him to one punch stuff. Like I don't play him as a DPS. So he's just here to one shot stuff. Alright, Layla, she has 43k HP. Good amount of ER. Using, I mean, when I do play her, I give her Favonius. Again, two piece for Akasha's, two piece Millilit. It is better to have four piece Millilit, but since Farazan already has it, I just gave her max HP build. Alright, C1, Talents are 9 and 8. Rosaria, I only really. Now, Rosaria is a sub DPS, but I personally only use her for her passive just to get just to get the max crit rate out of this. In Constellation 6, Artifact, no set bonus because it's all it's all just crit rate focused. Like everything is this highest crit rate I had. And then using R5 Favonius. Alright, next up is Fischl. And my Fischl, unfortunately, is just a tenacity bot. Like she has stringless and stuff, but she only exists to buff Eula. I know I haven't gotten to farming Golden Troop yet. I will probably farm Golden Troop once I'm done with Nymphs. Since I need the new set for new Nublet as well. But yeah, these are stat uh, C6. I'm really hoping to get C6 soon. Talents are 6, 12, and 12. Beto, I just recently built her. Like her talents are like not even fully leveled up yet. So yeah. I will probably, I'll probably make, uh, I'll probably make a showcase once I am done building her. Alright, Candace, She has 50k HP. Black Tassel. Max HP artifacts. All these are like high HP rolls. And then C1, it is really good if you want to use her infusion. And the talents are 6, 10, oh wait, hold on. When did I intend it to 9? Or whatever, it's 9, 10, and 6. I mean, this is alright for one shots, like it has decent scaling and stuff. Moving on to Sing Cho, he is my current sub DPS for Wanderer. 80, 200 with 200 ER. Using R1 Jade Cutter, 4 piece emblem. Alright, Constellation 6 and Talents are 9, 12, and 12. Another bounty plunge guy. Toma, I do use Toma with Wanderer sometimes. So he has like 35k HP, 250 ADR. Using Cash because I can't really use Favonius with 8% crit rate. He has work, 2 Warukashas, 2 Emblem. C6 obviously helps a lot with Wanderer. And then Talents are 1, 12, and 10. I don't think there's any more yet there. Those are all of my build characters. I can show you guys the uh, I can show you guys the talents on Chang Yun. So he is 12 and 12. Same with Sara, 10 and 10. Now, real quick, before we start the QA, I kinda wanna show you guys what my usual abyss clears look like. So this is just gonna be like a regular abyss clear, not really a speed run. Again, this is just to give you guys an idea of how strong my teams are for this current abyss. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Sweet. いざ。勝負。せ、勝てよ。いや、せ。と。はい。歌よに剣に近。よし、お前にやろう。歌れ。はっ。はっ。はっ。はっ。はっ。はっ。はっ。はっ。はっ。はっ。はっ。はっ。
この剣はわかるかい股間をいざ勝負剣に近い属性を見下ろせ<笑>はっ<笑>兵器新速あなたの訪れは信託が示すみんながそばにいてくれ永遠の風の行く先風の雲の行くごと止水の矢師匠の技を喰らい抜かうん料理の時間だはっそれうっの神属性を見下ろすはっセイフッいやっはっセイフッいや図が高いぞ。Now let's take a look at what you guys have to ask. Alright, the answer is yes, because I have never bought anything. Like, if you guys look at my shop, I haven't bought the Velkin, haven't spent any money on crystals. And yeah. And the primos you guys see are like about 9 months of savings, so it took me 9 months to get about 60k primos. No, I don't think I'll ever see 6 elemental characters, just because it takes like years of savings. I don't think I'll do it. So my first ever 36 stars was actually all the way back in 1.1 and since then it's only been 36 stars. I mean Chad has a great kit. He has really good front loaded damage, insane hydro application and doesn't really depend on 5 star weapons like some other characters do. So yeah definitely, uh, definitely a really good kit. I'd say I usually spend about 4 hours a day. It could be higher if there's like a new abyss or if a new version drops, but generally speaking, uh, about 4 hours a day. Yeah, so that's basically how I do it. I had Child, I pulled for Kazuha to complete the team, and then I got Wanderer, saved up so I could get C6 Fires on, and now I'm saving for Nubulet and I'll try to get him for Eno. Yeah, if you enjoy their playstyles, like if you feel like if you're gonna enjoy playing Ayaka or Hutao, then definitely go for them. They are some of the best C0 DPSs in the game. But if you don't enjoy their playstyle, then I would say pull for someone who you think will deal good damage, but will also be fun for you to play. And that's pretty much it. That was my account showcase. If you guys enjoyed watching, then make sure to drop a like and sub to the channel. And I do stream every single day, so you guys can come hang out in the stream if you want to. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.